Hi, I'm Bill Rennie. I'm from Puyallup, Washington, and I'm running for the position of chairman of the Washington State Republican Party, and I'm here to tell you why. So, Bill, tell me what you're going to do differently than what's been done before. Well, it's more what's not been done before. What, what's been done before is we've projected an image, you know, of a rich old white man's club that operates out of Bellevue. We haven't gotten uh, to the down to the grassroots level where people feel like they're involved with the party, that they have a say-so in the party, and that the party represents them. It's why we've lost so many uh, people who consider themselves Republicans in this state. We have got to build a grassroots network. And you do that by getting out door to door, shaking hands, talking to people, meeting people, and finding out where they, you know, where they are, and relating your values with them, so that they can see, you know, that you're not some evil uh, big corporation in the sky. That you actually represent people who work blue collar jobs, who cut trees, who work in a paper mill. You know, that's uh, that's the people we've got to reach. Those are the voters who consider themselves independents. Why are they independents? Because they don't want to call themselves Republicans. Why not? I'm proud to be a Republican. Number one reason why I'm running for this office is if someone looked at the election the last cycle that we just had, all of the issues that were conservative were overwhelmingly supported by the voters of the state of Washington. And yet, we sent Democrats down to administer our resources. Why did that happen? How, why is it that the Republican Party is not well accepted in the state of Washington? The uh, exit polls show that there's 23 percent were willing to call themselves Republicans and that's down about nine percent from where we were in the past. Uh, the state party has gotten a terrible image and the reason I'm running, number one reason, is to change that image so that people in the state of Washington understand who Republicans are and why they vote the way they do and why they think the way they do. That is the number one thing we're going to do is we're going to change the image of this party and so that we have a positive acceptance from the voters. And we're going to do that. We're going to do that by building up the network of PCOs. We have a whole influx of people who suddenly are concerned about politics, getting involved, who've never been involved in the past, and we are recruiting new PCOs at a tremendous rate. We need to train those PCOs and equip them to do the job. If we build a machine, we can win elections in this state. And I believe of the three candidates that are running, that I have the experience from the ground up, having built networks, having built PCOs, and having built uh, build up candidate networks, that, uh, that I have that experience and I bring that to the fray and I will work to get that job done for you. So Bill, tell me what you're going to do differently than what's been done before. What we're going to do is, number one, we're going to build a grassroots organization starting from the ground up by recruiting new people and filling the PCO vacancies that exist. I mean, there are like only 25, 30 percent of the, of the PCO slots are filled. We can't possibly compete against the Democrats if we don't have the machinery and the boots on the ground to do that. That's step one is to recruit them. And the way we recruit them and the way we raise money, so there's three things, is raise money, recruit people, and change the image. But it's got to start by changing the image. Because if we change the image of the party and people understand that the Republicans represent their values more so than the Democrats, uh, that we represent conservative American values of the Constitution, of family, uh, of being uh, sound with our money and not wasting money like crazy. Uh, if we communicate that to the public, they're going to want to fill those PCO slots. They're going to want to donate money. Right now when they call up and try to get money from the traditional sources, they don't want to give money to the Republican Party because they don't want to back losers. And that's the image that we've, we've projected. We've got to change that image. That is, that's job one for the, the chairman. And he's got to deal with, uh, you know, with a diverse group of people. We've got people who are log cabin Republicans. We've got people who are single issue Republicans, who are gun right Republicans, people who are pro-abortion, people who are anti-abortion. And we've got to bring all those people together so that we can start electing people with conservative, financially conservative values and stop the bleeding that's going on in the state and in this country. In your opinion, how do we get more of those precinct committee officers, those PCOs that you talked about, how do we recruit them and get them actively involved in the party? Well, again, it starts with the imaging. 
But you know, the way I came into the party, a lady named Lois McMahon, who was a uh, representative in my area, was out doorbelling, and she came around and found me and said, you know, you need to get involved. And that was 15 years ago. And I've been involved ever since. And I've got to believe that there are hundreds and hundreds of people out there. That's how you got involved. I called you up and said, hey, why don't you come on and help us out with this campaign? And you did. And there are hundreds, thousands of people out there who want to do something but don't know where to start. We've got to, we have to reach out to them by going out and just knocking on their doors. We've got to do the hard work of going out and knocking on the doors. And it's not just me. We've all got to get out.